Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, we will discover the different patterns of stars in the sky known as the constellations. At the end of this video, learners are expected to describe the different constellations that may be observed at different times of the year. A constellation is an area on the celestial sphere in which a group of visible stars forms a perceived outline or pattern, typically representing an animal, mythological person or creature, or an animate object. Position of constellations Celestial objects in our local sky can be described according to imaginary lines and points of reference with respect to the ground, zenith, meridian, altitude, and direction. These are the points used to locate stars. Altitude refers to the angle between the star's position and the horizon. When the star is directly overhead at zenith, that angle is 90 degrees, while direction is found along the horizon. There are four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. Then it's the point directly overhead. The horizon describes all points that are 90 degrees away from the zenith, while median is the great circle passing through the zenith. A great circle is a plane that passes through the center of the Earth. The shortest distance between any two points on the Earth's surface is attained along the arc of a great circle, while small circles are lines that do not pass through the center of the Earth. Earth's rotation gives us day and night. Diurnal motion is the daily motion of stars and other celestial bodies across the sky. This motion is due to the Earth's rotation from west to east, which causes celestial bodies to have an apparent motion from east to west. Stars on the dark side can be seen in the night sky, while stars behind the sun are overpowered by its light and therefore cannot be seen. Circumpolar stars always reside above the horizon, and for that reason, never rise or set. All the stars at the Earth's north and south poles are circumpolar. Meanwhile, no star is circumpolar at the equator. All the other stars that are affected by Earth's motion are called the non-circumpolar stars. The North Star or Polaris is famous for holding nearly still in our sky while the entire northern sky moves around it. That's because it's located nearly at the North Celestial Pole, the point around which the entire northern sky turns. Polaris marks the way due north. Polaris can only be seen in the northern hemisphere, and this star belongs to the asterism Little Dipper. Little Dipper is a part of the Ursa Minor constellation. Considering the coordinates of Earth, the constellations are seen depending on the latitude. Constellations depend on latitude because one's position on Earth specifies the constellations that remain above or below the horizon, while longitudes do not affect the positions of the constellations seen from Earth. Earth completes its revolution around the Sun in 365.24 days. The changing positions of Earth results to the varying constellations in the sky at different times of the year. Non-circumpolar stars are affected by Earth's revolution. Non-circumpolar constellations can be classified based on seasons of the year. Winter constellations, spring constellations, summer constellations, and autumn constellations. Winter constellations are best seen in December, January, and February. Examples are Orion, Canis Major, Gemini, Taurus, and Eridanus. Spring constellations are seen during March, April, and May. Examples are Leo, Cancer, Bootes, and Aquarius. Summer constellations are best observed in the months of June, July, and August. Examples are Scorpius, Sagittarius, Cetus, and Eridanus. Lastly, autumn constellations are observed during September, October, and November. Examples are stars of Andromeda, 
Fur Shoes and Pegasus. Circumpolar constellations are not affected by Earth's revolution. They surround Polaris in the Northern Hemisphere and can be seen the entire year. Examples are Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Cassiopeia, Draco, and Cepheus. Southern Hemisphere has no bright pole star like Polaris, but there are still Southern Circumpolar constellations like Carina, Centaurus, and Southern Cross. Constellations are easily recognizable patterns that help people orient themselves using the night sky. There are 88 official constellations. Hundreds of the brightest stars, those visible with the unaided eye, were given names in ancient times. Here is the list of the 88 official constellations. All stars and objects in space can be mapped relative to the poles and equator of the celestial sphere. Their position north or south of the celestial equator, essentially their latitude, is called declination. Their position east or west essentially is their longitude or right accession, measured in hours, minutes, and seconds. The stars are distant objects. Their distances vary, but they are all very far away, excluding our sun. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is more than 4 light years away. Light year is the distance that light travels in one year, about 9.5 trillion kilometers. As Earth spins, the stars appear to move across our night sky from east to west, for the same reason that our sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science and educational videos by clicking the notification bell.